Right now to make a turbo ramjet engine actually function pretty well with what we have, I need to double the compression that we already have from this compressor. And the way we're gonna do that is basically build another one of these, almost identical to it, that's going to have double the ratio as the size of the input this one has. So instead of having half inch lead blades as the intake blade size, we're going to have a one inch lead blade size. And instead of reducing down to one eighth inch, we're reducing down to three eighths inch. So we're really doubling everything's size and volume, and we're gonna keep the exact same compression ratio. How we're gonna build that little compressor is just like this. So that's what it starts out as just a simple flat piece. I fold a 57 degree angle. I set up the line here for the next break. I mark where I'm gonna cut that break so I have a one inch face plate. And when I'm done with that, it looks like this. So basically you have a fold over down here. You got a fold over on that side. Those are where it's gonna mount to the top and the bottom plate. That's where the compression is gonna take place. This one inch wide leaf here is going to come up from the center drive rod and with some pliers and stuff, I'll actually curve a little bit of a curvature to all of them when it's finally done, just to get them to scoop the air just right while mimicking the curvature that you see on the face of those blades. The outer edge is kind of curved over a bit. So we can do that with this. Next, what we're gonna wanna do with each one of these, is we're gonna take a flat plate, cut it in a disc, just like that. And I use two washers, just like this. I put one out in front, you can see it at the tip of my finger there. I use the flat plate and then behind that we have another one of those washers. So all I'm really doing is I'm cutting right here at the corner. I cut back a half inch. I make sure I make a little bit higher cut on the raised leaf edge there. So that way it's got the spacing for the washer edge to sit in there. And I push those down in between that aluminum plate and that top washer until they're sitting right up next to each other. And you got to cut each one of them a little bit of a pie shape so they'll fit in eight of them. And once we get those all pushed into that, I'll tighten it all down. I'll drill through the bottom plate down here where we have that bottom little fold over. I'll drill through and I'll put a couple of little rivets through that to hold them down onto the bottom plate. And then up here on top, we'll basically take a ring. We'll set that down over the top of the compressor. I'll roll out a tube. It's gonna be a little bit higher than the height of the top of the blades here just to give us kind of a draw and it'll feather out just a little towards the front of it. I've installed all eight blades. They're not riveted down yet. I just pushed them all in, tighten it down a bit. You can see how nice and aggressive that's gonna turn out. I put a piece of all thread all the way through this. This will be the piece that actually the drive bolt rides down through the center of that and we'll kind of compress it into place, probably even pin it just to keep it there due to the RPMs. Uh, real quickly here, let me zoom in so you can see the cuts I've made on each one of those blades. If it'll focus for us. You can see the little angle out cut, kind of a little L cut in the blade up there where it comes up to the top, just against the all thread. That was designed so that we got that nice front look to it right there. Just a little bit of a cap over the all thread and that'll give us a really nice high volume, high compression front compressor to our turbo ramjet engine. So let me show you just how I put this together. First of all, I found these little tiny 16th inch rivets. Not eighth inch, but actual 16th inch rivets. And you'll notice they barely stick up inside of there. They're not impeding my airflow much at all. That's how I was able to rivet the bottom plate down to those blades that I showed you. Then the top plate here was that ring I showed you. I just made a slice in it, carefully kind of brought that slice down to a bit of a cone. That way we could match the reduction in our blades here with the cone. Rolled out a ring, the right size for the, the rays in our blades, twice the height of the rays. And then with some L brackets, just riveted to that ring and then down right into the top edge of those blades. So it's a multi-purpose rivet point right there. So there you go. This is how you can build a real compressor fan to add to your turbojet or turbo ramjet engine project. So I've got a bearing system now mounted so we can get that to spin. Let me go ahead and pull it off of there so you can see what's going on. What I have is a standoff that I built. That standoff is exactly the same distance as the edge of our compressor blade here. That way the air will flow nice and freely right off the edge of the compressor, back around. Basically, we're gonna use this area as the diffuser. It's gonna come back around and then into our second compressor there. Uh, that should give us about eight to one compression, really close to eight to one compression. Here's the completed compressor now, ready to go to install on our turbo ramjet engine. A little stiff due to the brand new bushings and all the holes and everything need to be run for a moment just to get it loosened up a bit, but it's nice and centered. This will move a lot of air for us as a primary or first stage compressor and then down through the entire system 
down into our second stage compressor. And if there's anything extra, it's gonna come out right here into our ramjet engine. I've also installed a frame now. This frame is the beginning of the mount to hold our electric starter motor. So I'll start building some pieces to mount off of this for that motor to mount to. And we'll be able to spin this thing up to 20,000 RPMs. Just want to give you a quick look what that compressor we just got done building now looks like attached to our turbo ramjet engine. We now have a large high volume compressor stage, a turbulator stage, and then our final second compressor stage here. This should give us all we need to really get this engine up and running.